So thank you to all of you who worked uh, very hard on trying to hear or hearing uh, the issues raised in the community and putting forth a resolution. Uh, YGB is very appreciative of that work, but we still do have some uh, issues with, with the current resolution. And a couple points I'd like to hit on. So one, a lot of the jail renovations are being discussed because they're supposed to improve or make things better for people with mental wellness challenges. But where are the therapists and the psychiatrists and the doctors who are saying, yes, do this, because that's going to increase or improve the outcome for mental wellness challenges. Needon Hunt, a defense contractor, is not a therapist, is not a psychiatrist, is not a counselor, is not someone who has the skill set or the knowledge to improve and therefore make a situation or a physical structure better for people with mental wellness. You wouldn't hire me to build a room for a heart doctor because that is not what I know. What I, uh, that I don't know anything about heart surgery. I'm not qualified to say if this bed or that what, whatever is better for the doctor, for the patient, so on and so forth. A uh, defense contractor is not, uh, does not have the qualifications to say this is actually a safe facility for someone who is uh, having a mental wellness challenge. That is a huge logic break. If this county is really saying that's the, end, that's the issue, then this county needs to develop or create or get some sort of uh, folks who specialize in mental wellness challenges to think about the issues of mental health and mental wellness as it relates to the jail. Because that's not being, that's not being addressed. That issue of safety, of wellness, of livelihood, that actually is not being addressed because nobody with any qualifications is involved in making sure that people with mental wellness challenges uh, and their uh, issues are actually being met. Uh, the sheriff, though well-intentioned, is not a therapist. And in fact, in the debate, the uh, psychiatrist that the sheriff brought, Dr. Doug Kramer, actually sided with my position, which is to say, actually jails make mental health worse. They actually make mental health worse. So the idea to, uh, to do renovations to improve or to lessen the chances of suicide or whatever uh, mental health issues or mental wellness issues get exacerbated for folks is actually a falsehood. That is not actually what you're doing. So we should be uh, all clear about that. The second is when we think about renovations, uh, I think I'm really pushing the county to think about reform. Right, so not just getting new paint or a new lock, but how do we as a county really take seriously the issue of improving uh, the black community's condition here in Dade County, particularly as it relates to the jail. So this is why we advocate for the release of the 350. This is why we advocate for the ending of racial disparities, because that is the violation, that is the violence, that is the uh, life and safety issue that is happening uh, for the black community. And lastly, I think the uh, community input is extremely important, but these committees uh, won't matter. They'll be just, uh, okay, they'll be just um, another uh, sort of figurehead kind of thing if these committees don't actually have any power. If these committees, those most impacted, those formerly incarcerated, those who are directly experiencing the impact of the jail and the jail systems are not having any power or any say so in what's happening, then we actually are not moving toward change, we're just making some other bureaucratic structures. So thanks again for all of you who have worked hard and we uh, need those additions.